Hey y'all, welcome back to Sidewander Shed. We're right outside the shed, and what I'm getting ready to do is sand down the bottom of this brand new Lodge cast iron frying pan smooth. I do not like the textured surface. It feels like the uh, inside of a bed liner. I don't care too much for that. Now my previous video, which I will link in the descriptions, you saw me trying to uh, fry some eggs in this. And even though it's pre-seasoned and even though I oiled it and heated it up and everything, uh, it was terrible. They tried to stick. Okay, and this is the first time, I'll be honest with you, I've ever used one of these straight out the box. So, I know I have another one that's just like this. That I smoothed out the insides and then reseasoned it, <clears throat> and it works fine. Nothing sticks to it. So that's what we're going to do with this one. Now, all my other frying pans and for my friends and everything, anytime I had to smooth them out, clean them up, or get the rust off of them, this is what I used, which is a grinder with a sanding disc on it not a grinding disc or anything it's actually a sanding wheel sanding wheels about 10 bucks but I know a lot of people don't have a grinder but they do have some sort of drill this one happens to be an old Milwaukee battery operated one but you know I I have a six or seven of the old plug-in types also we'll give them a shot see how they work all right i'm going to try this battery operated one first see how it works hey maybe i'll have to go get one of my old cord ones and plug it in but what i also have for it is this little thing it's a little sanding wheel that you put right on the drill okay it costs about anywhere from Five to twelve dollars depending where you get them this one cost me ten um, and they make several types this one is the type that uh, uses like velcro to hold the uh, sanding discs on they have others that use adhesive um, I, I got the velcro one because that's what I have for my little palm sanders as well my little finish sanders and what I have here is I have some 60 grit I have some 80 grit and I have some 120 grit as well as some 320 grit so we're gonna give this a shot uh, this stuff here for a box of 15 costs around ten dollars also but like I said I do a lot of woodwork as well and that's all this is for is Pretty much this is the same stuff I use for wood. I don't use it. They make specific uh, sanding discs and sandpaper for metal as well. But I'm just going to try and use this uh, the stuff I have uh, hanging around for wood. And we'll give it a shot. Um, I'm going to try it. See how it works. Like I said, I know with the sand with the grinder, uh, it takes me about 10 minutes. To clean up one of these pans and get it nice and smooth I'm figuring <laughs> this is probably going to take me about an hour so I probably won't film the entire process but let me get you set up so you can see what's going on and uh, we'll be right back with you all right we're gonna try this and see how this works see if you can see everything all right I don't know, I might have to do it, set it up several different times, who knows. But we'll give it a shot. And I'm starting out with the 60 grit on this and uh, let's see how she goes. Actually not doing a bad job. Oh, 
don't know how well you can see this. But it's doing pretty good. Until it falls apart. Not doing bad at all. You can see all that dust and everything coming off. But I can guarantee you, yeah, I'm still, I'm going to be here for a little while. So, you get the gist of what I'm doing. I'll bring you back when I change out this because I'm probably going to go from this 60 which yeah I already need another I already need another one and uh oh that's my 80 yeah I'll probably go through several of these then we'll drop it down to 80 And we'll see how things work from there. So I'll bring you back after I'm done with the uh, with the 60 grit. All right, guys. Look, I'm sorry. There's something going on with my phone here. First, it totally died on me. Went down to zero. Then I plugged it in. I keep getting that beep 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 beep. beep. Something wrong with it. But anyway, I'm down to the final grit the 320 grit on the pan and so and it's, uh, <laughs> well I'll tell you this much it hasn't been 10 minutes yeah it's, it's been a couple hours I've been working on this so Unlike my grinder with the sanding wheel, this takes some time and effort. But it does do a real good job. And no, you don't have to get it down as fine as I'm doing. Because uh, I'll be honest with you, on the side, I didn't, uh, I didn't spend a whole lot of time with this. It's hard to do it on the sides. This is mostly how I did it. You can see some scratch marks there where I tried. It just jumps all over the place. But the sides aren't all that imperative anyway. You could, uh, you would, to be honest with you, don't even need to touch these sides. You can leave them just as it came out of the box. It'd be fine. What I'm more interested in is getting this bottom nice and smooth. But I'm going to call that good. I'm going to call that done. And uh, I'm going to 
take the camera, take my tripod, set you up inside, and uh, show you this is going to be one of the few times in this pan's life that is ever going to see soapy water. But we're going to take this inside, we're going to clean it up, I'll show you that. Then I'll show you how to oil it, and I've already got the uh, oven set to around uh, 525, I believe, maybe 550. And uh, I'll show you how you uh, season this. All right, so I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, guys, we're in the house. Now, I'm having a little bit of trouble with this phone, but for right now, uh, I don't think you need to see me or watch me wash a pan. But all we're going to use is some hot water, a green scrubby, a sponge, and just a drop of dish detergent. That's it. Right there. That's all we're going to use. Um, I'll bring you back when I get the uh, camera set up on the tripod and we get ready to oil this thing and I'll show you how that works all right we'll be back in a little bit okay guys so we're back now and I've washed this a little bit of soap and water and dried it out with the paper towel plus I put it on the uh, burner here to heat it up because you want to make sure it's dry you don't want any water in this at all and so what we're going to do, just like every time you use it, we're going to add some oil. And just like every time I do it, I added way too much, but that's okay. It can all wipe out. Besides, I need a little bit for this pan anyway. Just pour the oil in and wipe everything, every single bit of it. Wipe the handle. Okay. wipe the outside I mean it doesn't really matter too much on this because it's already been quote unquote seasoned on the outside so not so much of a big deal on this but any shiny spot okay we definitely want to wipe that oil around in there and then once you get that oil wiped in there wipe it off wipe it out so it looks almost dry okay then when you put it inside the oven yeah I got my oven at 525 when you put it inside the oven put it in upside down okay like this upside down that way there if there is too much oil on this it won't puddle and leave bumps okay and so, we just put this in the oven, and I have mine right on top. It doesn't really matter too much. And that's it. We leave it there for an hour. And this one here, this is the one I cook breakfast in. It's already clean, but I'm going to oil it up a little bit. And then, just like everything else, Since I use this one all the time, I don't need a real heavy coat of oil on it. Just a little bit. And we get the back side of it also. And you do this, I'm sorry, didn't realize you couldn't see me. You do this every time you use these. Okay. And that way there, like this pan here, it'll be fine. Things won't stick to it, and it'll last a hundred years easily. All right, well that's that's the easy part. Now it's just what takes so long. Honestly, is you got to wait for the oven to heat up. Okay. Then you have to put the pan in the oven for an hour. After an hour, you turn the oven off. Okay, and, and don't pull the pan out and let it 
cool on top of the stove. I mean, some people tell you to do that. Me, personally, I'm not going to. I just turn the oven off. I let it cool down in the oven until I can touch it. And then you repeat this process. You oil it. You wipe it down. You get the oven back up to 525 degrees. Put it back in the oven for an hour. I do that three times before I use it. And you'll be able to see... If you noticed how bright and shiny it was, you all will see the, uh, the color change on it. And uh, anyway, I will bring you back after the, uh, this first go around. So in about an hour, I'll bring you all back and show you what we're looking at. All right, now you all take care. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, this is actually the next day. Today is Monday, the 14th of March, and if you can see, this thing has darkened up quite a bit. I've, uh, you saw me oil it the first time and put it in the oven, and I left it in there for an hour. And because I was having some trouble with the charger on this phone, I wasn't able to show you the second part, which is basically the same as the first. And now we're doing it for a third time. Now this, I had the oven on and this was sitting over the vent, so this thing is hot. But that's fine, because you want it warm anyway. I mean, it's, uh, it's hot enough so you can touch it, but you can't really hold on to it, which is fine. And all you do is we add a little bit more oil to it. And again, you just rub it all around in there. Rub it over everything on this. Cover the entire pan, it's not going to hurt. And if this wasn't already pre-seasoned, or if I was starting from scratch with uh, with an old pan that I had rescued, which I've done before, then it'd be a little bit more important to oil the whole thing. But seeing as this was already quote unquote, like I said, pre-seasoned, it's not that imperative to actually oil the outside, just the uh, just the parts that I sanded down smooth. But we're going to do the whole thing anyway. And like I said, once you get the oil on, wipe it off again. And that's it. We're going to put this back in the oven one last time. This will be the third time that I've done this to this pan this is the third set but like I said as you can see it's darkening up real nice that bottom is like glass it is, it is nice and smooth but we'll leave it in here for an hour and remember if you want this pan what I need you to do is subscribe hit the like button Share this video with your friends and leave a comment saying that you want this pan. Um, and this is open to all my subscribers. Uh, I don't have a real big channel. I don't have a whole lot of subscribers. So most of you I do know personally. Um, either friends, family, whatever. So it's open to everybody. Uh, like I said, just tell your friends, you know. But anyway, yeah, uh, anybody that uh, subscribes, likes, shares, and leaves a comment saying they want the pan, I will put your, uh, I will write your name down on a little piece of paper. We're going to put it in the pan, and whosever name we pull out of the pan wins the pan. But I think I'm going to call that, uh, we're going to call that quits for this video. And I'll make another one um, 
when this pan is actually finished seasoning, when I'm done seasoning the pan. And we'll see, we'll try, we'll try cooking an egg and some uh, corned beef hash in it again and see how it does as compared to what it did the first time. But anyway, you all have a good day. And uh, like I said, this is, uh, I got enough pans in here, so I really don't need another one. I'm not doing this as a uh, gimmick or anything like that. It's just that uh, I had a lot of friends that have watched my videos and they bought some uh, cast iron pans and they were having trouble with them. Because like I said, it says right in the advertisement, straight out the box, it's free season, you go ahead and cook on it. Don't get me wrong, Lodge is an excellent product. Excellent product. I just wish they had never gone to that textured bottom. I personally don't care for it. I like the old smooth bottom ones. That's my personal preference. And let me say this, I'm not sponsored by Lodge or anyone else. I, uh, I actually paid for that pan myself off Amazon. And on the first video, I left a link. If anyone's interested in buying one from Amazon or whatever, I left a link to it. Um, I don't get any kickback. I don't get any break on price. I don't get nothing. They don't even know I exist. Anyway, y'all have a good day, and uh, yeah, look forward to uh, another video probably this weekend where we're actually cooking in that pan again. Take care.